Hello and welcome to Charge Electric for the range test of the Honda E. Now just a reminder, this Honda has been lent to me by Speedwell Honda in Newton Abbott in Devon. So you join me in my garage in Torquay before I depart on the range test. Um, I was planning on doing the same route that I took in the Citroen EC4 a couple of weeks ago. And if you haven't watched that uh, range test yet, please click on the pop-out banner above and feel free to watch that one. But uh, unfortunately this morning I had a, a little bit of a setback. Um, good news is the Honda is absolutely fine. The thing that's a bit iffy this morning is me. Uh, unfortunately, I woke up this morning with a bit of a bit of a funny tummy, so um, I'm still going to do the range test. But rather than go out to Dorchester and back, um, I'm going to stay local. So I'm going to do laps of my local area. Now the route that I'm going to do, I'm going to go from Torquay to Paynton, Totnes, past Avonwick, down to the A38, and then up the A38, which is a dual carriageway, 70 mile an hour limit, up to Newton Abbott, and back down again. So it'll be a nice loop. <laughs> I just don't fancy being too far away from home with a funny belly today. So um, we're going to keep doing laps until the car is down to around about 10% and then we'll be able to calculate the range. Now, I had the car plugged in overnight and it is now on 100%. Um, it's only showing 103 miles range but that's probably down to the uh, consumption that I got yesterday because we're filming with the car yesterday having a bit of fun with it as well. Um, the consumption wasn't fantastic, but we'll drive the car properly today um, to see how far we can get it on a single charge. So let's go and uh, we'll catch up in a second. Right, so I'm 14 miles into this range test. But I thought I'd give you a little update. Now, when I left Torquay uh, this morning, the picture that I put up on the screen had the range showing as 106 miles, but I think I said on the camera that uh, the range with 100% was 103 miles. And that's because when I do these range tests, I always have the climate control set to 19 degrees because I like it to be as real world as possible. And when I switch the climate control on, uh, the range just dropped back to 103 miles. So that's the reason for that little discrepancy there. But uh, the first mile in Torquay was hard going. There was roadworks everywhere in Torquay at the moment. So for the first mile, mile and a half, it was just constant stop, start creeping in traffic. And because I got the climate control on as well, um, it had a bit of an impact on the consumption that I was, I was getting. But I'm on the approach to Avonwick now, um, just turned over 15 miles now. The consumption is three miles per kilowatt and I have 84 miles showing on the range. Now hopefully as this route goes on the traffic will be flowing a bit better so hopefully the consumption will improve a little bit and I'll be able to eke out the range and hopefully get over 100 miles on this route. Now with those of you who don't know Devon and Torbay very well it is a very hilly area so uh, there's hardly a flat piece of road at all you're either going up a hill or down a hill so there are some pretty meaty hills that I do have to go up although I get to regen going down them you never recoup as much energy as you use going up them so that might have an impact on the overall range in this test today but hey it's real world you know everyone lives in a different part of the country some people will be living in a nice flat area might get better range and then down here it's hills everywhere but we'll keep going and uh, see how we get on okay i'm just joining the a38 i'm gonna head up towards newton abbott now so this is a decent stretch of 70 mile an hour dual carriageway section and uh, if you've watched my review on the citroen ec4 you'll know from the range test that as soon as i hit the 70 mile an hour limit road the range just suddenly disappeared and uh, the consumption dropped quite considerably so we'll see how we get on in the honda e so I'll catch up with you in a second
Well, I've just come off the A38 and now heading towards Newton Abbott. Now that stretch of A38 wasn't too bad actually, even with a quite a steep uphill section at the end. My consumption at the start when I joined was 3.2 miles per kilowatt and it's only dropped to 3.1 so yeah that stretch of 70 mile an hour didn't have too much of an impact on the range. But I've now driven 30 miles in total and I am showing a range remaining of 66 miles. So we're still hovering around about that 100 mile mark. So uh, my target is to try and get this car over 100 miles, but we'll see. Okay, so I'm back in Torquay. That is one lap completed. And that lap is 39 and a half miles. I am showing 66 miles left on the range. So the journey from Newton Abbott to Torquay, I don't think I've actually lost any range. So I've probably managed to regen quite a bit there. And the battery is down to 62%. So I'm using around about 40% um, on that lap. So it's almost working out to 1% of the battery equals one mile, almost. But one of the things that I have noticed today on this range test, which wasn't that evident yesterday when I was doing a lot of filming in the car, is just how good this driver's seat is. I and mean, yesterday I was concentrating on other things and filming and whatnot. But today in the range test, I've got nothing else to do other than drive. And uh, it suddenly hit me just how good this driver's seat. It holds me in place really nicely. It's very, very comfortable, really nice driving position. So yeah, quite enjoying this range test. Yeah, nice comfy place to sit. I have noticed though, um, I mentioned on the review, this wing camera screen over here, that when I'm holding the steering wheel at a 10 to two position, my hand is blocking out half the screen. On the dual carriageway sections, every time I'm moving out to change lanes, I either find myself having to look around my hand or just drop my hand away from the steering wheel so I can check my mirror, which is a little bit of a faff. It didn't bother me that much yesterday when most of the driving was around town. But yeah, slight niggle there. But yeah, apart from that, all is good. And we'll, we'll see you around the next lap. Okay, I'm about halfway around the second lap, just coming up to the A38 to head back towards Newton Abbott. And uh, this time round, uh, the efficiency has been much better. I think it's down to the fact that the traffic seems to be flowing a lot better this time round than it was earlier. So I'm currently up to three and a half miles per kilowatt. I'm showing a range remaining of 48 miles and 44% left in the battery. Okay, that's the end of the second lap. And the second lap was definitely more efficient than the first time round. So I'm currently averaging 3.6 miles per kilowatt now. I have 34 miles left and 30% left in the battery. So I haven't got enough range to go around again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cruise around Torbay and try and get the battery down to around about 10% and we'll see what distance we have covered by then. Okay, so a little update. The charge status has just hit 15% and now the charge warning light has come on. So it looks like this car, the warning light will come on at 15%. And I have 16 miles range left. So now that the warning light has come on and the battery is now just dropped down to 14% now, I'm gonna head over to the pod point charger in Paynton. I'm only a couple of miles away, so that should be absolutely fine. I just hope it's not occupied when I get there. 
that uh, to get rid of this last bit of the battery I've been cruising around Torbay and that really does hammer home that this car was really designed with town driving in mind. Um, around the town the efficiency has actually improved no end. Um, I'm actually averaging over the course of the day now 3.7 miles per kilowatt so the town driving has actually been quite efficient and don't forget I've had the climate control running at 19 degrees all day so far. So yeah it's uh, taken quite a while to get rid of this last little bit in the battery. Well, the charge status is dropping quite rapidly now. I've got a steep hill to get up but then I can regen down the other side. So yeah it's not been too bad and I have covered how many miles have I covered? Oh 90 miles. 90 miles and 13 miles of range left so it does look like that 103 mile range when I left this morning was spot on. So yeah not too bad. Right I'll speak to you again at the charger. Right, just coming up to the pop point charger in Paynton. Is it available? Oh, they changed the entrance, I think. Oh, it's been a while since I've been to this charger and just went straight past the entrance. Good job, it's got a good turning circle, this. Right, where is it? Where's the charger? There she is. And there's nothing there. Excellent. Right, so here we go. Ta da! Pod point, rapid charger. There. And I have 10% left in the battery, 12 miles of range left, and I have driven 94 miles. Right, so I'm just gonna plug in and then we'll have a little recap. Okay, so here I am plugged in at Lidl's in Paynton onto a pod point charger. It took me a little bit longer to get a charge to go into the car because I forgot my account had run out, so I had to top up my account first. And that, that's the thing that, uh, companies like Instavolt and Osprey have got right because their machines you just walk up to it and it's just a contactless payment so you just blip your card and off you go but uh, yeah pop point at the moment you still need an account that you have to top up so uh, yeah I wasted 30 seconds that but anyway so summing up the range test I, I did 94 miles today and I had 12 miles left at the end so that was looking like 106 mile total range now the routes that I was doing, that sort of loop around my local area because again my belly was a bit iffy this morning, I didn't want to go too far afield, but I am feeling a bit better now, it's got you know, a bit tired now. Um, but yeah, so that route was mostly um, sort of twisty B roads and dual carriageway. And the efficiency that I was getting uh, over the two laps was about three and a half miles per kilowatt. But then uh, to use up the last bit of the battery, I just um, started cruising around Torbay which is just all town driving so stop start uh, driving like that and the efficiency actually started to ramp up really well um, I've ended up on 3.7 miles per kilowatt total but it was amazing how the efficiency was improving in the town environment so more proof that this car was definitely designed with city driving and town driving in mind and uh, I think if I did that journey completely in a town environment I probably would have been able to stretch 120 possibly 130 miles out of it judging by how the uh, consumption was doing at the end there so yeah it does seem fairly realistic not a car that you probably want to do long motorway journeys in because you will be looking around that 90 to 100 mile range i think so um but i don't think people will be buying this car with long distances in mind um, if you are you might just have to be prepared to stop a little bit more often but the job that this car was built for, I think it will do absolutely brilliantly. It is such good fun. It's very, very well equipped. It's fantastic looking as well. And like I said in my review on the car uh, yesterday, I can't really find anything about this car I don't really like. So yeah, it's been very, very good fun. 
Now, just before I sign off, I would just like to say another huge thank you to Speedwell Honda in Newton Abbott for loaning me this car for the last couple of days. It's been a real eye-opener. Um, I absolutely loved it. do like this car. But please go and check out um, uh, the Speedwell Honda offers. Um, as I mentioned in my review yesterday, uh, this channel, Charge Electric and Speedwell Honda, have teamed up to create a discount code for you. So if you contact Speedwell Honda and quote discount code Charge Electric Channel at Speedwell, and you can see what sort of discount you can get on a Honda E or any new Honda. But all the details will be in the description below, so please go and check it out. And uh, I am really, really pleased that I've managed to get through two days filming with this car, and not once have I mentioned the brown seatbelts. Oh, nuts. Oh, well. So anyway, as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.